welcome back. There is a professional photographer in Burke County who has taken the love of his profession to another level. Yeah, John Payne not only loves his work, but he loves the tools he uses for it, his cameras and his lenses. And since this is a Carolina camera story, you know it's a bit more than what you might expect. John mm -hmm. Carter is here to tell us all about it. Mr. Carter, I love this story. Ah, uh, Good morning to you. I love this story too. Uh, and to say I was amazed at what I found at John's photography studio would be an understatement. If there is anyone who has a collection that rivals John's, I sure have not heard of it. So let's take you to Morganton to show you exactly what I'm talking about. That's the camera lens I started with. John Payne's photography studio is located in the old historic Alva Theater building in downtown Morganton. John is truly a gifted photographer, considered by many to be the best of the best. But instead of being behind the camera, today we're putting John in front of the camera. In fact, we're putting him in front of hundreds of cameras. You are looking at what may be one of the largest private collections of cameras in the world. A very large collection, predominantly Nikon-based uh, film cameras. Uh, it's got probably around 250 to 300 different Nikon uh, film cameras. There's a few other brands mixed in, uh, Leica and Hasselblad, but predominantly Nikon. John is passionate about photography and certainly cameras. It's a passion he's had since he was a kid and bought his first Nikon camera. This is a Nichromat FT2 with a 105 millimeter lens on it. I bought the camera in October of uh, 1975 when I was in uh, seventh grade. I bought the lens in November of 75 as I had the money to afford it. And that's sort of how this collection first came about. After John bought his first camera, there were other cameras to come. But instead of selling his old cameras to pay for the new ones, he kept the old ones. In about 1995 to 2000, I realized I had the makings of uh, uh, more cameras than I could use. <laughs> Basically, it was a collection. And I uh, tended to, uh, at that point, start to seek out various specific cameras based on their rarity, uh, based on uh, any sort of unique qualities that they had. One of those rare and unique pieces is a camera lens that once belonged to the late renowned photographer Peter B. Kaplan whose spectacular techniques established new standards in photography. Yeah, this is one of the holy grail lenses among Nikon collectors. It's a 13 millimeter, 5.6 wide angle lens. Uh, very, very few of them were made back in the uh, late 70s. John's collection even caught the attention of the Nikon company in Japan, in particular because of this photo he took of his Nikon equipment. He was among only 10 people worldwide who received special recognition from Nikon during the company's 100th anniversary celebration. But even with all this stuff, the heart of John's passion is connecting with people. The subtleties of dealing with people, the psychology of talking to people is a part of photography that greatly interests me. And uh, I really enjoy the, uh, the ability to do that with people. Over the years, John's camera collection has grown and grown and grown. So, will he ever stop? I'm always gonna be adding to it, but again, as the years go on, I realize at some point, it's gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if it'll ever stop. Uh, just a wonderful person. I just enjoyed that so much. And, and the thing is, John's collection is available for you to see in person. Now, you need to call ahead uh, or go online to set up a tour there. He'd be glad to show you those cameras. It's, it's, I, the photography, the, what you just saw there is nothing compared to being there in person. But we've got the information. You need to contact him on the QC Life webpage, so be sure to head there. Meanwhile, we're always looking for story ideas for Carolina Camera. Let me know. Just send your ideas to carolinacamera at wbtv.com. I just loved the way he said that. It's got to stop. <laughs> like he knows it's got to stop, uh -huh. but he also knows it's never going to stop. Yeah, I think that's the case. But that's how all of us are with our collections, mm -hmm. right? Whether you collect ceramic pigs or Nikon <laughs> cameras. I mean, we all sort of feel like... 
We have so many, but I just love it so much. Yes, and he does love it. And he's got some incredible equipment. You know, I think he said 250, 300. I, there's, I can't believe that it's just, I imagine it's more and more and more. Yep. It's mm -hmm. just an incredible collection and, and very historical too. Mm. John Carter, cool. thank you so much. Thank I love you. it. <laughs>